So hello everyone, my name is Osma and in this episode and in the upcoming episodes I will be introducing you with uh, really inspiring photographers and as our first guest uh, we have very wonderful photographer Alja Zhnidarsic. Exactly. Nice! <laughs> uh, he's a Slovenian photographer and uh, mountaineer since uh, 2018. In his life, he has hiked on top of quite a few Slovenian peaks, including Triglav, which is the highest peak here in Slovenia. And uh, as he says on uh, his Instagram, he is an adventure and uh, adrenaline seeker. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Is that true? <laughs> yeah, that could uh, describe my, uh, my passion, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Is there anything else that uh, you would like to say about you? Whew, okay. Um, yeah, I really like to live out of the comfort zone uh, because I believe that's when the life starts. <laughs> mm, mm. Yeah. Great. So uh, regarding photography, uh, could you please share how did you find your path in the field of photography? Okay, uh, yeah, there was one specific day. I went uh, on a hike with my friend after 10 years of not hiking. We were on the top of the mountain uh, at the time of sunset and I was like, wow, <laughs> well, I, I need to share this with everybody. Everybody needs to experience something like that. And I, take my phone out, I took a photo, I was like, ah, it's not as beautiful as, as, as you see. see it. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, so, yeah, first I bought my GoPro and then in time I got my camera and just started shooting uh, photos of the mountains and yeah. Which was the mountain that uh, you hiked together okay, with that yeah, friend? That, that <laughs> was uh, Velika Raduha. Mm -hmm. Do you still uh, have a picture from there? Yeah, it's on my Instagram. I think. Ah, yeah. nice, nice. It's still, I think it, yeah, it's the first photo of uh, the mountain on my uh, Instagram. It goes way back down, but <laughs> so we will include it in this interview also, <laughs> so you can see and check it out. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, amazing. So, how long ago was it exactly? 2018. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's where it all began. Yeah, that's when I woken up in this uh, this. Um, lifestyle of photography yes in photography and adventure seeking mm -hmm. living outside of the comfort zone <laughs> great so uh, this leads me up to the second big question uh, which i believe uh, there might be some more in-depth stories to share possibly okay <laughs> so uh Aliash, tell me what is the biggest adventure you have had so far in the field of photography okay i think i uh, yeah, I think it was around three years ago. Um, I quit my job uh, to go on uh, to go live in Thailand. Um, I went there uh, doing some li uh, license for diving, and um, I arrange I arrange uh, to get a job there as an underwater photographer and um, um, diving uh, instructor. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was. That was, I think, the biggest adventure because I, I was living there for for one month. I, I traveled there alone. It was like I wasn't used to go traveling alone and stuff like that. Mm. But after that time, um, yeah, I I just packed uh, my car in every Friday and I went on the highway and just drive. I didn't know where to go. I just went some one day I went to hiking. Uh, the other day I went uh, climbing and then diving or whatever I I like to do so. And this was all in Thailand? No, 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 that was... Uh, here? When I came back. Oh, when you came back? Yeah, yeah. So all right. I just, I just went. Mm -hmm. Just pack my car and mm. drive. I don't know where. <laughs> <laughs> How did you find this opportunity in Thailand? Um, I had a friend um, that uh, he was a diving instructor. Mm. He was living in Thailand, um, so he... He said he's going back there, he mm. was in Slovenia at the time. Mm. And um, he wanted to, um, that we, sh we, we, we would work together and yeah, mm -hmm. that's how the decision was made. And so you had some previous experience also in uh, diving or uh, was yeah. it? No, yeah, I had the first license, I made it here in Slovenia. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I was a diver before, but not an, I didn't ever dream of becoming an instructor, which I'm not. Not yet. Not yet. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. 
So uh, maybe you can give uh, to to me and to viewers out there like uh, some kind of like picture how a day uh, in the underwater photography uh, photographer's life look like. Like what kind of gear okay. you need? Uh, yeah. How does it go? Okay, uh, you wake up at 5 a.m. You go on a boat at 6 a.m. and then you you have some clients or model or whatever mm -hmm. you're taking uh, photos of and uh, you drive with the boat to the location where you want to shoot mm -hmm. uh, you go you, you ready up the um, um, the diving gear mm -hmm. you ready up the dome and the camera and everything you go into the water for one hour and you take photos <laughs> how, how deep do you go in the water well that in, that depends if you are shooting clients uh, they can go max to uh, 11 f um, meters mm -hmm. so that's the depth you go to you, you go to mm -hmm. um, but if you're shooting some personal projects yeah there is no limits almost no, well, there is limits uh, <laughs> as long as you have x oxygen <laughs> um. <laughs> Nice. And now, which was like your favorite picture you took from that trip? Do you have from any? Thailand. Yeah. Is there any? Mm. Ooh, you got me there. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I really like one. I was uh, at the waterfalls. But yeah, I, I don't have the, the, favorite. the favorite one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or maybe the, I was in Ayutthaya, the, there were temples, mm -hmm. really old ones, and yeah, I like one of those. Mm. Yeah, also on my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> if you go way back. <laughs> All right, awesome. So you were living there just like with other people, or like how was life in general there in Thailand? Oh, uh, really chill. <laughs> it was uh, really, um, really chill. Uh, the day I got there, I was standing in, uh, in the counter uh, in the shop and uh, the girl was like, peep, <laughs> peep. And I was like, come on, hurry up. Yeah. We need to go there and there. Yeah. And I think after a week or maybe two, I was in the same store uh, waiting in line, totally chill. And there was a guy, come on, I was, come on, come on. And I was like, Dude, why the rush? <laughs> oh, that was me yeah, <laughs> one week yeah. ago. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then uh, after a month, I came back to Slovenia, and everything was so everything's in, in a hurry. Everything must be done really fast. Uh, it was no, I want to go. I want to go back. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's much more uh, chill hmm. there. Photography-wise, yeah, I did learn how to how to take photos underwater. Mm. But I didn't had my camera there. I was um, the, the the gear was of my friends, mm -hmm. uh, and all the photos I do on my free I, I did on my free time was with GoPro. Mm. So I was a GoPro shooter at the time. Wow, <laughs> that must be like really you need to really have the eye too because GoPro like you don't have any zoom lens or anything <laughs> like your only zoom is your legs. <laughs> no, but I think that uh, for adventure photography like. Um, for adventure photography, if you want to go professionally, yeah, absolutely need a, a gear, a, a camera. But uh, just for Instagram and stuff like that, GoPro is a really, really good tool. Mm -hmm. um, well, it's not the best if there is a cold because it freezes all the time. But <laughs> <And> the battery <laughs> dies like in 20 oh. minutes or oh, so five. <laughs> Last trip, I used two batteries yeah. for a five minute video. Two batteries. Yeah, it was around. Uh, it was twelve clips, uh, and there were most of them were one minute clips. Yeah. So. So go, GoPro, go. please. Please. <laughs> batteries <laughs> for uh, cold conditions. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So, um, is there anything else you would like to share about uh, Thailand and uh, about the experience as a whole? No. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe visit the places uh, that are not so tu uh, touristically they are not filled with so popular so popular right. yeah yeah because uh, the best food I ate mm. was the, the the places that were not on the map or, or beside the the, um, the the road and uh, in the cities it was like when you turn away from all the civilization mm. yeah.
All right. I think that's a good takeaway to take, not only for Thailand, but for anywhere you yeah, go yeah, to yeah, just uh, so, yeah. to discover something which yeah. is not uh, always on the top top reviews. And uh, well, of course, if you're on vacation, that you just want to be uh, on on one location and spend money. Yeah, that's just go where uh, the the hotel sends you. But if you want to really experience the the country and the people there, yeah, absolutely, go out of the roads, just got just get lost. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Alyash, I need to ask you the final question of uh, today's uh, conversation. Uh, so. Um, if you would need to give me and other viewers, potentially photographers or photography enthusiasts out there, uh, what would be the one challenge in the field of photography that you would give? Hmm, challenge. Yeah. Okay, I would give you the challenge um, to make a photo that's not uh, manipulated. So yeah, it, it can be manipulated like uh, brightness and colors but not uh, add, it, uh, add stuff to it with a nice foreground and background and well, the, the landscape photo um, in the sunrise or in the sunset. Well, I prefer the sun, sunrise. <laughs> oh, it's uh, more complicated. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, if um, conditions are not okay and the sky is not with clouds and nice colors, yeah, that, that's the challenge. Go again and again and again. Until you get it. Until you get it. So the challenge is to go in a sunrise or sunset, yeah. to get a nice landscape yeah. with a nice foreground and background. Yeah. Well, you can go in the middle of the day to find a spot. Uh -huh. So that you find, some, I don't know, a leading line or something like that. And then use this spot to make it in perfect conditions. All right. That's why the challenge is time. Nice. That's that's a, that's a great challenge. So, dear viewer, if you accept the challenge, then uh, please, uh, whenever you do it, tag me, tag him. In case you do it, uh, I would love to share it in our next video that will come up uh, very, very soon. Awesome. So, uh, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for this conversation and for the challenge. And uh, good luck in Thank other you. adventures and in photography. Thank you for having me and right back at you. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's Thank a you. bit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit cold here. Yeah. Where are we, by the way? Maybe let's say, where are we right now? We are at Velika Planina. It's um, Planina, that means... Uh, hmm. It's uh, like a place on top of the hill, mountain. Yeah, yeah that's uh, uh, covered with grass. It's this, uh, with uh, a lot of uh, uh, wooden huts on it, uh, cabins. So yeah, it's a really popular location for tourism in Slovenia. So if you are, are ever here, do come. It's beautiful in uh, every season, right? Yeah, every season. Nice. Yeah. Thank you for uh, taking me here. It's my first time here. <laughs> it's amazing. And it's sunset over there, yeah. so perfect. All right, awesome. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Good morning, guys. So to motivate you to try and to attempt this challenge, I will show how I am completing this challenge. I will actually do it with my phone because here you can see that my camera is capturing the time lapse of sunrise. It is literally my fifth time here to finally chase this shot. I hope it ends up being great. And uh, so this is how the shot that I came for looks like. All right, let's run to the tree over there. By the way, whenever there's a sunrise and sunset, remember to look back. Just look at that scenery. <laughs> Guys, I think I've found my shot. Alright guys, so this was my sunrise attempt. I hope it goes well for you as well. Doesn't matter if it's first, second or fifth or even the tenth time when you do it. When you do it, please tag me, tag Aliash. We would love to see your work and do write in comments which Slovenian photographer I should talk to next. Have a great day and see you next time.